Um, okay, so a couple other issues with respect to this. Um, okay, so even if packet loss, you're not worried about packet loss. Um, what else is what else is a problem? So packet loss is not the only problem. Okay, latency. That's good. Um, I have something else in mind though. So um, if you're watching real time video. Packet represents a new frame. Uh, you might receive all of the packets, you might receive all of the frames, but it's kind of a problem uh, if what? If, 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 if they're not in order. There we go. Um, so out of order. Yes, but I mean, if you wait, so if, uh, if you get a packet. Then you receive, then you miss the second packet, and you receive the next hundred before you receive the second one. Um, that's, you basically have to wait the entire time. So that, it's, you could argue that it's a latency issue. You could also argue that it's an out of order issue. So out of order packet delivery. So that could be an argument to buffer at the home agent. So the home agent might just keep. It might just fill its buffer before it sends the first packet, and then it can guarantee that all of the subsequent packets will be in order, uh, regardless of handover. Um, so this is an argument in favor of home agent buffer. Second issue, uh, alluding to what you said a second ago. Um, all of the analysis that I've just showed you assumes that as soon as we go from one foreign network to another foreign network, the connection breaks, and then we have to set up a new connection thereafter. But it is legal uh, to, to maintain two, uh, two simultaneous connections at the same time, and that's called soft handover. So in soft handover, we maintain two simultaneous links. Actually, good physical error reasons why you'd want to have as many as many connections as you can. Um, mostly having to do with fading. So uh, if you if you're wandering around with your mobile uh, and you have ten connections, chances are at least one of them will be good at any given time. Is it possible for the house to sort of build up a system? Necessarily your position on the ground that's relevant. What's relevant is your signal strength. That, not, that's not necessarily a map to a position on the ground. And that's, that's, actually, that's actually what they're doing at any given time. They're mapping your signal. And like there's a, in the base station, there's a, there's a little guy who's keeping track of your signal strength. And if it drops below a certain value, then you're cut off. And it says, I, I don't maintain this connection anymore. Um, what will happen in handover is that like there, there's, sort of a, there's sort of a range. Like Go below this value, then it'll start looking for someone else for you to connect to. And if it goes below the second value, then, then uh, it'll just cut you off. Uh, Is there a special protocol that we're using between the home agent and the foreign agent, or is it all just on the IP? It's all TCP IP and encapsulation. So um, 
mobile IP is actually a, it's an extension of a traditional IP. So uh, it's a, it's a well recognized internet. Uh, it's a well recognized protocol as part of the IP part of the IP package. I mean, it's good. Soft handover. We're maintaining uh, simultaneous links to more than one foreign network. So generally, it could be more than two, but let's let's talk with two for the sake of argument. Uh, so, what's the advantage of this? Generally, packets are not dropped. Generally, the fact that they're not dropped because you're always maintaining uh, you're, you're always maintaining your connection to the to the corresponding node. So the, the, there's always a route for the packets to get through to you. Uh, it helps with it does not completely eliminate, but it helps with out of order delivery. So I say helps with because it's possible that, that one of the two connections could have a much higher latency than the other. And so therefore, uh, getting all the packets to you might be uh, in order, uh, might not happen. But it, 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 it would certainly help with that problem. Um, can anyone think of a disadvantage? Bandwidth, yeah, that's the one. So the disadvantage. is that it uses twice as much bandwidth. Uh, or if you have k links, it uses k times as much bandwidth. But uh, if we're talking about two, it uses twice. And for that reason, soft handover is almost never used for long periods of time. It's only used when you're uh, going from one cell tower, one, one, the region of one cell tower to another. So just on the cusp of two different networks, just to just to help you maintain this connection. 